All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start this video by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachak Kadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is Arat Tazah from the Great Millstone GMS Atlanta camp with another video. And, uh, you know, once again, all right, uh, just want to get into a quick lesson, uh, centered around a precept. In Isaiah the 20th chapter, uh, in the 21st verse, so the scripture that we had um, brought out this you know this past weekend at camp, um, because the Spirit had us going into the uh, chariots or so-called you know so-called UFOs, which is a you know pretty much a hot topic right now. You see it all in the news, and you know you got Esau putting his propaganda and his lies out there about you know how there's you know there's there's, there's aliens and that you know i guess supposedly <laughs> supposedly there was a ufo that crashed in somebody's backyard and they got video footage it, it, it's all it's all bs man you know and I, I did a video maybe a couple weeks ago you know brothers as well as done videos going to how you know that they, they you know the government you know esau you know they're going to continue to you know try to try to control the narrative and put the put lies out there and not really inform the people about what the UFOs are, okay? And um, you know, we all know that the that the UFOs, the chariots, are, are, are you know mentioned all all throughout the scriptures. Now, this is a precept that we have brought out uh, dealing with this topic of a you know UFO invasion and. As you know, as you'll see in the video title, uh, it's really it's really a play on words. I think the title should be "There Will Be an uh, Alien Invasion" or, or "Alien Attack" or something like that. It's really it's really just a play on words. Because once I read this preset and read it in the different translation that they got, you'll you'll uh, see that. All right. So this is on um, this is Isaiah twenty eight and twenty one. It says, "For the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai shall rise up." In Mount Perizim, and he shall be wroth as in the Valley of Gibeon. Now, this part, this is a, a basically a reference back to um, during the time of King David. All right, when you know when King David was going to battle, he was putting down, you know, certain heathens. You know that was that was really you know that was really Yahabashim Yahushai working through him to bring that judgment. And then it you know they got the cross references. I'll, I'll just show you. Okay, they linked that Mount Perizim in, in the Valley of Gibeon. All right, see, they link it back to Second uh, Samuel 5 and 20. And David came to Baal Perizim, and David smote them there and said, The Lord have, this is the Lord have broken forth upon my enemies before me as the breach of waters. Therefore, he called the name of the place Baal, Baal Perizim. All right. So that's that's what that's dealing with. Then the, of course the Valley of Gibeon. All right, when he was going to war with them goddamn Philistines. All right, he was putting their ass down. So that's you know basically that you know as far as the Heavenly Father. That that type of wrath that he brought back then that's 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 about to come in this time. All right, and then when you read on in Isaiah twenty and twenty one it says that they. Excuse me, that he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his act, his strange act. So there's a there's a particular uh, 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 judgments or or weapons of punishment that Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to unleash on the earth. That's going to be considered strange or foreign. All right, and basically a part of the Most High's army or his weaponry are the so-called ufos all right now check this out you go to here go here and click on bibles now when you read this in the nlt i think it is okay no no no, no i'm sorry in the niv all right this is the same verse in the niv it says it says the lord will rise up as he did at Mount Perizim, he will rouse himself as in the Valley of Gibeon.
to do his work, his strange work, and to perform his task, his alien <laughs> task. All right. So when brothers read this, you know, we was kind of like, yo, that's the spirit. Now we know that there's not no no actual aliens as far as what Esau would like to have you believe. Like, for instance, if we type in uh just type in aliens in here. You go to images. This is what <laughs> this is what Esau puts in the minds of the people. All right, Esau being a so-called white man. This is what he wants you to think about when you um you know think about aliens. All right, which the word alien just means foreign. So that's really that's what it's saying. It says because the, the the Most High's judgment or his you know basically what. The punishment he's going to bring is going to be foreign to this world. But the fact that, <laughs> all right, the, 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 the fact that it, it uses the word alien here, you know, that, that coincides with a so-called UFO invasion. Because people think that this is what's going, you know, this is what's coming to the earth to do whatever. No, the, 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 the angels or the, the, well, I basically gave it away. But the, the chariots of the so-called UFOs are the angelic angels, man. All right. When you go to Ezekiel, the first chapter. All right. You know, where, where, where Ezekiel speaks about the wheel and then it describes the beings that was in them. They were basically described as hell, basically so-called black men. They said they, they sparkle like uh, burnished brass. All right. So these, these are these are these are angelic black men from the spirit realm. Right. Angels that are coming to this earth. To wreck shop and not only that, but to what? Save the elect of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. The elect, the 144,000 the, and the, the, you know, the, the one third, the large multitude and all that. All right. Which are all Israelites. So, you know, that was something that we just thought was, was, was kind of crazy. Just like the, just the play on words that, it, that they would use the word alien here because there is going to be. A alien attack, but it's not going to be the alien attack that you that you think it is, man. It ain't talking about this. All right, it's talking about the angelic armies of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so yeah, and um, another scripture we had brought out, which is a good one to link to uh, link with this is uh, Wisdom Solomon five. Uh, let's see, Wisdom Solomon 5 and 1, because it also uses the word strange. All right, it says, Wisdom Solomon 5 verse 1, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. All right, the, the uh, righteous man is, is first and foremost an Israelite, but an Israelite who is of the elect or the hopeful elect. All right, and we're, we're standing with standing in great boldness right now by preaching this word week in and week out. All right, and the so-called white man has afflicted us ever since we've been over here in the Western Hemisphere. He's all he's he's been afflicting us. This is hell. This is this is captivity. But what in the midst of this captivity, as the scripture says, we you know we're we're standing upon our feet, and it says he made no account of our labors. That's going to First and foremost, the the, the uh, labors in his truth. You know, this devil's not taking account of that. And then the, the, the actual physical labor, as far as us be, us here being in, um, as I mentioned, us being in captivity. All right. And then it says, here's the point, verse two. It says, when they see it, the, the it is talking about the salvation, as you're going to read, as you're going to see when you read on. So all of them are going, all of them are going to see it. all of those that afflicted us. All of those that 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 mocked us and, and you know did us wrong on this side, all of them are gonna see it. And it says they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Why? Because when the UFOs come, all right, it's it's, it's gonna be a horrible sight, man. As it says in Zechariah 5, which is also a good a chapter, you know, as far as the so-called UFOs, it says that this is a curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth. 
So people are going to be terrified, man. And then it says, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for, which is why it, it, uses, the, it uses the word alien in that prior uh, 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 verse I read. All right. The word alien basically means strange or foreign. So this is going to be something that's not of this world, something that's never been, been seen before. All right. Um, you know, when people think of a UFO invasion or, or just UFOs in general, they, they think of like, you know, sci-fi movies. Oh, that's just, you know, uh, fiction. That's not real. That's like, come on. That's, that's that can't be. That's just the too far fetched. But it's actually going to happen. And they're gonna be they're gonna they're gonna be bugging out. They're gonna be tripping, man. All right, when they when they see a fleet of UFOs coming, shooting laser beams, shooting fire, zapping people to dust, like it tells you in Second Ezra thirteen. All right. Uh, it also speaks about that that big chariot that that our Lord is going to be in or or, or or be on. All right, some people call it the mothership, which you know we call it the fathership. All of that's about to come to pass, man. So this, this is so it's it's, it's 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 going to be a foreign or a strange thing. So in a way, they're telling you, oh, you know, you know, you know, alien attack, alien. Well, in, in a, as far as the, the as far as the verbiage, that's true. All right, but it ain't talking. It ain't it ain't dealing with this, man. You know, goddamn um, E. T. and all that. You know, it, ain't, it ain't talking about that, man. These are the angelic powers, the angelic. Angels of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that's about to bring heavy judgment to this earth, and that's part of the the, the, the Most High's acts of His works. All right. Um. As a matter of fact, uh, what, what scripture is that? I bring it out all the time. Is that Psalms Psalms one one forty? No, Psalms one nineteen and um one forty three. I think. I probably got the. I probably got it wrong. Let me see. I say, Lord, what I say, Lord, it's time for the Lord to work. Uh, let me see. Excuse me. Psalms 119 and 126. All right. It says, Psalms 119, 126. It is time for thee, O Lord, Yahweh Shah, to work, for they have made void thy law. See that? So the Heavenly Father is about to go to work. All right. Why? Because people on this earth, the earth in general, and the, 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 the manager of the earth being Esau Edom, has not pushed. Righteousness is not pushed, you know, the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. They voided out the law. Hence why you got all this goddamn wickedness going on out here, man. So what does that mean? That means it's time for the Lord to go to work. All right. And in the, in the, in the, the so-called UFOs is a part of the works or the strange works that we read in Isaiah 28 of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. And the Lord's about to bring it forth because the earth is, is you know, in need of a, of a, of a, of a, of a great reset, you know, like how you got Esau got his great reset. He wants to do this, do it. Well, we, we got, how about Shah Sha got a great reset, man. Okay. And it's, and it's, you know, going to come through violence, through bloodshed, through death, bodies dropping. All right. This is what the scriptures, you know, heavily speaks about. The scripture speaks about uh, in Ezekiel, how Ezekiel had the role and, and what was written therein was, uh, Lamentations, mournings, and woes. That's what's coming, man. All right. And the prophets are here or set up, starting with the apostles on down, the other the other camps and brothers. We're set up to tell you and warn you of these things, man. Okay. And give you the truth. So that was really I, all I want to bring out. I want to bring out that quick, that quick point. All right. It's bringing out the other translations, how they, you know, had it spread out to where they, they put the word alien in. <laughs> All right, because it ain't, you know, but it ain't the alien attack that you're thinking about, man. Again, going back to these damn pictures. You see? This, and again, this is what Esau 
wants you to think. It's what Esau wants to put out there. That's why he's showing it on the on the news now. He's open about the about the chariots. Cause he's because why? Because he, he's a goddamn liar. <laughs> All right. So, you know, with that, I'm gonna sign off. All right, Lord willing, you was edified. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimmy? How shy? By Shim Chakwadash. And Lord willing, lead to the uh, next video. I'm gonna say Shalom.